So my Sephora order just came in and today we have a fully dedicated lip video. I have two different formulas I'm testing out today. We have of course the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oils. I picked up three shades, but I thought I'd also throw this in. I picked up two shades of the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color, which I think is more of a lip gloss. We're going to test all five of these shades today, test both of these formulas. And I'm probably only going to do a wear test for today on the Rare Beauty, but I will definitely keep you updated in a few reviews on the Rare Beauty. No, on Makeup by Mario. Anyways, these are like two of the most poppin' brands right now, so I had to test their newest lip products. We're gonna get started with the Rare Beauty since I think that's gonna be the more popular one. I'll have time stamps though if you wanna check out the Makeup by Mario. So along with this, Rare Beauty also launched two new colors of the Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes, which are super crazy viral right now. They've been for a while. I went ahead and only picked up the Soft Pinch Lip Oils. You can pick these up at Sephora in person. I did purchase all of these by myself, by the way, and they are $20. I did pay expedited to get these to me, to my apartment. Okay, let's go over the three shades I did get. It looks like there's three, six, eight shades online. They all looked beautiful. I tried to get colors that I would wear, but colors that I felt would be different from one another. So I picked up Honesty, Hope, Definitely wanted hope. This color is so beautiful in the blush and then happy. So let's take a look at the colors. The boxes look like this. It's the typical Rare Beauty box. The packaging almost looks like these would be like a matte formulation, right? And then it has the ball at the top. And they describe this online as an innovative gel to oil lip tint. So that's interesting. Gel to oil that hydrates and nourishes with a soft pinch of dewy color that stays comfortable, never sticky, all day. So this first shade is Hope. Let's see. This is the color that I love in the blush form. So you wanna see this as a lip color. This next one is Happy, and I just checked these are made in Korea, which Korea produces a lot of products similar to this. So if you can see Happy is definitely more pinky, whereas Hope is more like mauvey. And then the darkest shade that I picked up is Honesty. They do have a deeper color, but this one is like a little bit more of like a beigey nude. So let's go ahead and try these on. We'll do Honesty first. I do have Alamar Cosmetics Dulce lip liner, just as the outer part to define my lips. Let me diffuse it a little bit. Okay, let's see. So this one is definitely more neutral if you like neutral browns. It definitely is so much thinner than the Dior lip oil or most lip oils, honestly. Mm. But it does feel like an oil on the lips, but it's very, very thin. You do get like a light amount of color for sure and it has a minty feeling to it. Nothing like crazy plumping feeling or painful by any means, but there is a minty freshness to it. That's very, very pretty. This is great just for every day. Define the lips a little on the outside. You don't have to though, but if you do put a little bit of a lip liner down and then this on top, I can taste it. Doesn't taste bad. Kind of like it. Wouldn't eat it though, but mm, I love this color. I think it's so pretty. It's definitely for the beige babes. You know, if you like beige, like this goes really great with my makeup, but let's see what, what the brighter colors do to my face. I thought Honesty would be a dark color, but it's actually quite wearable. So I'm just using a makeup wipe and then drying it down with this sponge. Let's see how happy looks. And I wanna see how happy and hope look, like if they're too close to each other. So oh, this one is definitely a brighter pink than I thought it was going to be. It does kind of have a gel to oil consistency. Very interesting. That color gives a little bit more life to my face as opposed to honesty. Mm, this one is really pretty too. I don't normally wear colors like this. 
but it's super pretty. So comparing this to other lip oils, with its thinner consistency, it's not smoothing over the lip lines, like you can see them still. Whereas I feel like Dior just completely plumps them over. This one doesn't do that, but it doesn't make my lips look dry or anything. It feels very, very hydrated. It just doesn't have a thick layer over top to almost make those lip lines disappear. But I like this, and I like this color. Let's see how Hope differs from that. I wonder if these will stain my lips a little bit. Like, I feel like this did stain my lips. Just a little bit, which is going to help with longer wear, because they do claim that this does have long wear. So if it stains the lips, like I'm seeing that it is doing, that should make it last longer. Okay, last one is Hope, which I love the blush version of this, so... It's definitely more natural than happy. This one doesn't do much for my lip color. It's very, very close to my natural lip color, but it's pretty. This one is really nice for very natural lips, especially if you don't like too much color on your lips. I know when I was a bridal artist, I had a few clients who like thought they looked weird or crazy with color on the lips. This would be kind of a good compromise for that to add some blood back to the face after you do your makeup but nothing too overwhelming and different from the natural lip color so this one is really really pretty i have to say my favorite though is probably of the three honesty because i like the neutral shade but i really also like happy for brightening up the face and i also like hope for being more natural and I feel like all three looked very different. I can't speak for the whole line if they all actually look different on the lips, but they all do something different for me. And I really, really like that. It's very thin, so if you can't stand the thickness of the Dior, it just feels like too much on the lips. This is definitely a better formulation. I can tell, you know, it's made in Korea. There are some other lip products that I tried from K-Beauty that are similar to this, but to the American market, this is really really nice and a lot of the trendy lip oils are not like this so it does have a unique element to it in the market it's twenty dollars that's not bad for sephora so i'm very happy with this we will do the wear test using these but before i do that i want to get into the new makeup by mario lip glosses since we're here why not so these are a little bit more expensive these are the moisture glow plumping lip colors and look my lips are totally stained i'm gonna have to put some foundation over top these are 24 dollars as compared to the 20 dollars from rare beauty not that these are the same formula but we'll see about that and this one has a lot of shades three six nine 12, 13 shades and this one is a full coverage water infused liquid lip color that hydrates and visibly plumps with a weightless glossy feel so it's described as this formulation type listen to this a lip gloss slash lip balm and treatment slash liquid lipstick slash lip plumper. Very interesting. I'm not sure what to make of this, but it comes in the typical makeup by Mario box. Where are these made in? I'm curious. Made in South Korea, 12 months shelf life. Okay. And I picked up the shades Cool Pink and Soft Nude. I didn't get any bold colors i just wanted to pick up colors that i thought i would wear which typically is like a cooler nude pink kind of shade so these sounded good to me the packaging is quite tiny it has a kind of soft matte finish Let's see what the applicator looks like i did not do much research on this i just knew that he launched this so i wanted to try it okay this should be interesting oh yeah this is definitely more full coverage this feels more like a gloss to me, but comparing it to the Rare Beauty, you can see that difference in pigment level. And this is cool pink that I'm swatching. Wow, yeah, so these are definitely complete different formulations. Like I said, I did not do my research on the Makeup Mario. I thought it was a lip oil. <laughs> this is not a lip oil. Just gonna take a little bit of foundation. I'm wearing the new Laura Mercier foundation, which I think is so good, by the way. Quite long wearing. Just wanna tone down the stain on my lips that the Rare Beauty left behind. Should I do lip liner? Let's do just like a little touch. So let's start off with Soft Nude. It has a very, very subtle sweet smell. Okay. 
one swipe. That's a lot of color to it. I put too much product down. You don't need that much. Um, a darker lip liner would be more flattering for this color on me. That's a full coverage gloss. Kind of has a sweet taste to it on the lips. But it does feel very, very slippery. Kind of like a lip oil. So it's not sticky by any means. There is no stickiness to it. So it does feel kind of like a slippery gloss. It's slipperier than I would like. I almost feel like for this type of pigmented formula, a little bit more stick might have been good to make sure it stayed even in terms of coverage in all area of the lips, but I'm not the makeup master. Mario is. But that's kind of how I feel. I don't think saying it's like a liquid lipstick formula is true at all, but it does have that full coverage, but not even quite like a liquid lipstick. To me, this is just a pigmented gloss. You see how it's not super smoothing over the fine lines? I have a lot of lip glosses that do that. Interesting, it just feels very slippery to me, so I, I, I don't know. I feel like the longer it's sitting on my lips, you see how like wrinkly it's kind of looking? It might need like a lipstick underneath. It does not feel plumping at all either. They advertise this as a lip plumper. It's, it's not, doesn't feel like it, nor is it smoothing over like a lot of lip plumpers that I've tried as well. Okay, let me try the other color though. So let's do cool pink next. This is kind of like the hope color from Rare Beauty. So I applied less because I feel like that's going to be the most comfortable and the best way to apply it because it is such a slippery feeling kind of formula. If you have too much product on, it's going to feel globby. So with a thinner layer, it's definitely a lot more comfortable. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes to see if the color travels and I will update you. I'm not doing a full day wear test because I really do want to wear the Rare Beauty, but let me give this a few minutes. It's interesting. It's an interesting formula. I don't think it's completely as advertised. It's not a lip plumper for me. Lip balm and treatment is a stretch, but it is hydrating to the lips. I'll give it that. Liquid lipstick, I think they're pulling that from the full coverage or that higher pigment level. It's no different than, for me, like a pigmented gloss. Okay, give me a minute. I'll be back. Okay, so here's where we're at with the Makeup by Mario. I do worry, especially if you apply too much, that it's going to bleed because it's very, very slippery feeling. I think if you have like a lip product underneath, like a lip liner, lipstick, that's going to help with bleeding. But if you apply too much and on bare lips, it has potential to be a mess. I think less is more with this product because it does get gloopy. I will continue to update you guys on this as I use it more. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because those will be featured on the next speed reviews. But they're fine. But I think they're, they were a little overhyped. Like definitely not as advertised. But moving back into the Rare Beauty, these are totally lip stains. Well, they do stain the lips, which I don't even think that's what they advertise. But I used a makeup wipe and like, look, this is what was left behind from the makeup wipe. So yeah, these do stain the lips. So I'm going to uh, put one on for a little while longer and then I will comment how this wears. But I think because of the lip stain, that is how they're getting away with advertising it as long wearing. The oil that is on top will disappear, wear down pretty early on. That's how lip oils work. But it's going to continue to leave a color on your lips because of that staining aspect, which I think is genius that that's how they marketed and formulated it this way. So I really like this lip oil. From what I've seen, a lot of people like it as well. It's different than the ones that I like. Like, I love how goofy, gloppy, and thick the Dior is. But there is something to be said about this thinner formula. I just did a terrible job lining my lips. Um, but anyways, 
That's my first impressions on both the Makeup by Mario and the Rare Beauty lip products. I actually might end up using the Makeup by Mario more because I like lip glosses over top of my lip colors. I don't see myself wearing these on bare lips. I don't think they're the kind of formula for that, but I think it's fine as like a lip topper. And then the Rare Beauty, I really, really like for everyday makeup as well. Like I said, I'm always wearing lip products, so I probably will wear the Makeup by Mario more, but I really like this product. I think they did a great job with what they did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you've tried any of these new products, let me know your thoughts down below and I will update you guys as I continue to wear these and these are two of the hottest brands right now and I got to review the newest product so I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.